Oh my goodness. This is really turning into an annual video, huh? I'm recording this on June 2nd. I posted my last one on June 10th. I really hope that a year from now, we're not making the same video. I'll cut right to the point. It was no mystery that me and Bailey were definitely more than just friends. It was a hilarious meme. We had to keep it going. But we also never formally dated. And that's kind of what today's video is about. I started talking to Bailey relatively soon after I was done talking to Kaylee. Yes, I know the names are very similar. And I was very forward with Bailey about this. I let her know that I had just gotten out of a relationship. I was not interested in getting back into one. But if she wanted to spend time with me and we were gonna have fun, Let's go for it. She was awesome with Luna. She loved being on camera. We made some awesome videos, as you guys know. And we actually technically were friends. So the meme wasn't a total lie. But as you guys could probably tell from the videos, we were spending a lot of time together and it was clear that it was getting towards a relationship. And roughly three months ago, a lot of things were happening. I made the decision to split my time between Michigan and Arizona. Honestly, a lot of you might not know this. I purchased a house in Michigan, and then I also purchased a house in Arizona. Now, I know that sounds like kind of a flex, but trust me, it's not. The only reason I can do any of that is because of you guys, so you can pat yourselves on the back for that. Additionally, I decided that I was gonna up and go to Hawaii for about two months. Now, the reason I tell you this is you can probably understand that if I'm very close to dating someone in Michigan, while also determining for my career that I'm gonna be spending an indefinite amount of months in Michigan, and then an indefinite amount of months in Arizona, and on a dime will be deciding to go to an island, how that might not be very conducive for a healthy relationship. So to continue to paint this picture, me and Bailey were spending a lot of time together. It was very clear that she wanted a relationship and it's just not something that I was comfortable with. I was pretty damn scared of fully committing to someone, knowing that there'd be massive lengths of time where I couldn't see them. I am a firm believer that I can make anything work, but the timeline of all of it just scared the hell out of me. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. And I feel comfortable saying this because I was equally honest with Bailey and she fully understands. Bailey was an excellent friend. She was so kind to me, so generous, so helpful, very supportive, but I'm just not ready to commit to something like that right now. So if when I'm 30, I realize that I made a poor decision, I will accept those consequences. But for now, I continue to be ready to pour my heart and soul into this channel, into the work that I do for you guys, and I can only hope that I made the right decision. The only reason I feel so comfortable sharing this with you guys is because me and Bailey really are on good terms. We still casually text. She sometimes pet sits for Luna, which is so cute. And hopefully we remain friends. But you guys can also probably understand that obviously Bailey's not gonna be in videos. Um, you guys are very good at starting the rumor mill. <laughs> And I could see the wheels churning on it a little too fast, so I just wanted to step in. I like my drama, that's for sure. But I'm very happy that me and Bailey still talk. And I'll maintain that I will never have anything bad to say about her ever. I just don't. So I couldn't really start drama even if I wanted to. It is what it is. I appreciate your guys' support as always. Uh, this actually happened roughly three months ago. I just wanted to let the dust settle. And I just want to make sure that I would make a respectful video that wasn't too construed by my emotions. I think it's funny when I watch YouTubers videos where they're clearly so agitated or something just happened to them and they're all over the place. The video is horrible. It's just rambling and ranting. I didn't want to do that. I hope you guys didn't get that impression from this video. So for my end of things, I'm gonna continue to put out as good of content as is humanly possible for me. And from Bailey's end of things, I hope you guys can be respectful as well. And since this is an annual video for me now, I might as well end it off with something good. I usually end these off with something good. I do have a big announcement that I've sort of talked about, but never formally. Next year, at the start of the NFL season, I will be doing a full-fledged live podcast. Ever since I went on the Pat McAfee show around this time last year, actually, it's all I could think about. I loved going live on Twitter but I was not scheduled and I hated playing Madden. Obviously, I love talking about the NFL and I'm watching all the games anyway. My little brother is going to be running tech on it, which is awesome, so he'll be on the podcast too. And it will be live on its own YouTube channel. I'm so excited. It's gonna be incredible. I very much look forward to it. It's really all I can think about actually. So I know for a lot of you who really like Bailey, myself included, this video is kind of a bummer. So I thought I'd leave you guys off with something to look forward to. Honestly, if you watch my channel in June anyway, I love you because this is the deadest of the dead of the NFL season. And it's an incredible blessing that I get to continue to do this year in year out. So I appreciate you guys so much. I love you. Please be respectful. That would make me so happy. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Peace out, boys.